is it? Good boy. Good morning guys, long time no see. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I'm a third grade teacher in Central California. Welcome to my classroom. Today's video is just gonna be a day in the life. So you got my morning, you're gonna get me teaching and then whatever I decide to do after school, maybe making some shirts, going to the gym, who knows, we shall see. So this morning, I've been starting off my mornings this week asking what makes hmm great. So we got like what makes a classroom great, what makes a teacher great, what makes a student great, and today, what makes a school great. I also, if you haven't been in my classroom, I also use Champs, so I'm getting them used to how to use that according to what activity we're using. Really helps whenever I'm pulling small group, lets them know when they can talk to their partner, when they need to ask three before me, when they're silent, all that good stuff. Um, what else? Really this week, I'm just getting to know my kids. My kids are such sweethearts. They're so smart. They're so full of confidence, which I absolutely love because that is huge in my classroom. Normally I spend a lot of time building that confidence and I feel like these kids like already got it. Granted, it is pretty funny because first day of school, of course I tell them, you are the best students. You are the best. And that's why you're put in my class because you are the best we are the best class and all that good stuff. Then my principal comes in and granted at that point, I had about half my class like totally buying it and the other half was kind of like mm, a little skeptical. Then my principal comes in, she does her old speech to introduce herself and everything, but also says, oh my gosh, Miss Blair, I think you have some of the smartest kids, which some are like, I know, thank you, that's me. <laughs> but by the end of that, her telling them that they're the best and like acting like super surprised of like, oh my gosh, like they're the best, da -da -da -da. they were all, totally on board of like, they are the best, we are the best classroom. So it's gonna be a good year. And Graham, we're the big third graders on campus. So I do tell them like, everyone's looking up to us and everyone knows that we're the best. So if we're not acting like the best, they're gonna call us out and I'm gonna know about it. So yeah, those kind of beginning of the school year things. Okay, I'm gonna set you down, let's get started. great classroom, which you need a great teacher, you need great classrooms and teachers to make a great school. Awesome, come put it up. Be champs every day, absolutely. second graders and first graders. Yeah, but if we see a little, maybe maybe they're lost, they don't know where the bathroom is. I know it helps a couple students that need to walk around. So we're very helpful, we help each other, right? It's kind of like that Coppa's Discovery, that story we read. Even if it's not exactly our job, we're gonna step in and help those who need help. All right, do I have anyone that has their notes? They just maybe are too shy to share and they wanna put it up. If you want to put it up, go ahead and put it up. 
Oh, we're all braver today. We wonderful, thank you. Cool. The graph. Class, what's popping? Roll on, roll on. Roll on. All right, so about into the thick of it. Nice, pretty good. Okay, all of these we're gonna be rounding to the nearest ten. What are we rounding to? Hey guys, okay, so it is recess. We just wrapped up math and our star math test. I don't think the window opens till the next week or two, but I'm just honestly really nervous about everything that's going on, we should say, um, because all it takes is like one kid to like get sick and then they're pulling people out like flies. And I want to know like where my kids are at. So I'm having them take it no matter what. We had an issue in second grade yesterday 20 kids got sent home. I'm also dreading and just fingers crossed that we don't all have to go home for good. I would really hope just rather, yep, sure, it sucks to take those whatever kids, but take them, 
they go home for 10 days and then hopefully they can come back. However, they are being super, super strict on the uh, six foot radius around anyone who gets sick. This is my classroom uh, desk set up right now. And there's a lot of people within six feet of whoever. So I think I'm gonna change it, switch their desk and make pods. Cause I'd much rather like one pod of four and five get taken out than a whole row of like 10. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find places for them to go. What uh, a clock. Yeah, we got like four minutes left. So I'm gonna try and eat my breakfast. When they come in, I'm gonna have them try to set up their desk. Let's see how it goes. Okay, it's the end of the day. Kids just went home and did not do the seating chart thing. Our little grammar friend came in, did a lesson. The kids were so antsy by the time he left. So we actually went outside. I wish I would have filmed it. We basically just walked along the sidewalk because one of our PE standards is like balance time and do the balance. So we just walked around like the curb in a couple of different ways, like normal tiptoes. We did some crab walks, giant walks, and just got out, had some fun because these kids need a lot of brain breaks. They need to get outside and move around because a lot of them have just been sitting at their computer eating chips all day. So we actually read a story, um, Deputy Deputy Dorkface, I don't know if you've like heard of him, but Sugaropolis, so kind of about eating healthy meals or like balanced diet, not just sweets and seeing how the kids got super sleepy, all that stuff. So I feel like that was a good lesson. Um, but yeah, I did not fix the seating chart, got too busy. So I'm going to do that. this is the farthest I can get my groups away from each other. I even moved that little small group table because I never used it. So there's someone on the tile. Moved that there. It's just we got our groups. It's a little tight on this end because again this classroom is a very weird shape. I don't know. It's very weird. Okay, sent my seating chart to my principal. Got a couple stuff together for an independent study student. Organized my room. It is five o'clock somehow already. I'm gonna be going home. Tomorrow's Friday. Can't believe this is just the first week of school. It's only been one week. This is insane. Okay, whatever. I hope you guys are having a good week. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.